They're paying him $1.2 million this season because the Denver Broncos owe him $38 million. So the Steelers are essentially getting a nine-time Pro Bowler on the low. James Jones, yeah. where does Russ put the Steelers in the AFC? Are they legit Super Bowl yeah. threats? Are they the same team? Where in the world does he put them? You know what? I I should be. Can I tee you up? Because I didn't see you on the highlights. <laughs> Russ in Pittsburgh. What's up, dog? How do you feel about Russ uh, being in Pittsburgh? That is a phenomenal yeah. point. I don't think this means anything. Mm. Anything? Nothing. Anything. Anything. Here's why. Dave, if, if, and I'll use the race because that's the term we've been talking about today. If James and I were to race, obviously Shady sitting out. So if James and I were to race, and if I were to lose, Mm -hmm. But then I come back a year later and I say, yeah, boy, I got faster, big been dog. Trained. I've been training. Yeah. But James could say, I've gotten faster and I've been training too. Mm -hmm. So it don't matter that I got faster and been training because what's he been doing? Think about the AFC teams that didn't make the playoffs last year. What are they doing at the quarterback position? Because when I think about the AFC teams that didn't make the quarterback, Jake Browning was a primary starter. Oh, they're getting Joe Burrow. Gardner Minshew was a primary starter for the Colts. Oh, they're getting Richardson. Mm -hmm. Aiden O'Connell was a primary starter for the Raiders. Oh, they're getting a first-round pick. Mm -hmm. Zach Wilson was a primary starter for the Jets. Oh, they're getting Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Easton Stick was a primary starter for the Chargers. Oh, they're getting Herbert. And lastly, Bailey Zappi was a primary starter for the Patriots, and they're getting a first-round pick. So, yes. The Steelers got better. They're going from Kenny Pickett to Russell Wilson. But it's not just about what you do in life. What's your competition doing in life? Mm -hmm. And when you look around at the rest of the competition of teams that didn't make the playoffs, teams that made the playoffs, they already good. Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Tua Tungavailoa, uh, CJ Stroud, they're good. I just showed you all the teams that didn't make the playoffs. 16 AFC teams, seven in the playoffs. Take the nine remaining teams. I just showed you all about seven of them. So did the Steelers improve at the quarterback position that much more than anybody else did? I would say no, if at all. Mm. That's why, to me, it doesn't really mean much. Mm. That, that, that's, that's a good take. I think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good take. We they, this, this is what they put on our paper. All three Steelers quarterbacks that played had 16 total touchdowns. Mm -hmm. mm. So I, I, I'm going to leave it right there before I even talk about Russ's 29 touchdowns. But with them 16 touchdowns, they still was in the playoffs. You don't even need Russ to be great. All you need Russ to do is come over there and give you them 29 touchdowns and finish some drives at the end of the game. Because when I was watching Russell Wilson last year, especially when they went on a 6-1 and one record, Russell Wilson had 13 touchdowns, four picks. But forget all the stats. When you turn the tape on and you look at Russell Wilson like this, there's nobody that the Steelers have right now that is making plays like Dangerous right here to win games. The defense for the Pittsburgh Steelers is, is always going to have you into the, in the game. No matter what year it is, no matter who the quarterback is, they are going to have you in the football games. You just need a quarterback like this. This is Russ from last year turning the table. This is big time throws to win football games. The Steelers did not have that. George Pickens is going up and making them plays. Deontay Johnson is going to make them plays. They have a really good run game. So year in and year out, different quarterbacks come in the game that are really good. And the Pittsburgh Steelers say, our defense good too. And they find a ways to win games. And they just have not had the quarterback. Now you get Russell Wilson in there. You have just put yourself in position to compete for a Super Bowl, point blank period. Mm. You spoke on the teams that did not make the playoffs that are going to be getting their quarterbacks back, which is true. But two of the teams that was in the playoffs last year, too, one of the teams won the Super Bowl. Russ beat them with the Broncos. So if you ask me if the Steelers have a chance with Russell Wilson and what they have on both sides of the ball, absolutely. And they beat Lamar Jackson last year without Russ. So this team right here with Russ, if Russ can just give you what he did last year, is going to have a chance to compete for a championship. Joy, where are the Steelers? I know you may not want to talk Super Bowl, but where are you putting them with Russell Wilson? I think they're in the mix with everyone else who we consider to be competitive in the AFC. Let's take the Chiefs out of it. Mm -hmm. Just put them up Basically, there on the shelf. They're champions. the dynasty. Champions. They're obviously the team that everyone has to beat, and the only team that has beat them in the AFC as of recent is the Bengals. So I think that they're in the mix with everyone else. They're in with the Bengals. They're in with the Bills. They're in with the Ravens. They're in with the Browns. They beat all those teams mm -hmm. all the time anyway. They're in, the, they're in that group of teams that we think is going to be competitive in the playoffs that have an opportunity to get to. Let's, let's just start with an AFC championship game, right? Like we don't have to go all the way to the Super Bowl. 
I think we get very liberal with, okay, this is a Super Bowl contender. We did this last year with the Jets. Four plays in, that's out. We did it with Russ, year one in Denver. How many Super Bowls can Russ win in Denver? Is one Super Bowl enough? <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> he's now, he's now, yes, you were with the state. Uh, you probably said a few of those things. Uh, now, now, he's in, now he's in Pittsburgh, looking uh, to rent a lovely home in Swickley or Wexford or Shayside is very nice too. Lots of great restaurants there, Russ. So uh, I'm excited that he's in the 412. I think he puts them in position to actually be competitors. The Steelers are always right there. They're always having a winning season. Mm -hmm. They're always well coached. They always have a great defense. They always have an interesting run game. They always have really well-developed skill positions that they've drafted, right? This is what the Steelers' identity is. It's always just right there with the quarterback. I mean, Jesus gave you the stats. I don't, I don't even, I don't want to, I don't want to hear it again. It's so bad. If Rush just walks in mm. and does exactly what he did last year, they're winning at least two more games. I mean, they won games off defense alone. So I don't want to jump all the way to the Super Bowl. I don't want to get crazy with the expectations and predictions because I really think we need to see how it plays out. But everything has been lined up for this to not only be a great position for Russ to be in, as we discussed for the past couple weeks, a great move for the Steelers because they're getting him for extremely cheap. They still have Kenny Pickett, who they are developing. I think they'll probably in some ways pitch this as a quarterback competition, although we can all assume that Russ will be the starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers this year. Arthur Smith is obviously there as the offensive coordinator. People forget before he went to the Falcons and made them unserious as the head coach, he was a pretty good offensive coordinator, which is why he got the job in the first place with the Atlanta Falcons. That's how it works. He had Tennessee at second in total offense and fourth in scoring offense in 2020. So he is capable. We already know what Mike Tomlin is. We don't have to run through that. I think this is a move that makes the Steelers a serious team. Here's, here's what's confusing to me. And Joy, I want to ask you again, Dave, can't wait to get for you, but here's what's confusing to me. Everything you said about the Steelers, Joy, I feel like you could have said about the Steelers last week. I feel like you could have said about the Steelers last year. Steelers are a serious team. Steelers are always competitive. They were just in the playoffs. Steelers haven't had a losing record, I believe, in 17 seasons yeah, now. Yeah, my so, my, so the Steelers are always capable of beating the Browns. They're capable of beating the Bengals. Like you said, they're capable of beating the Ravens. Steelers are in the playoff picture more often than they're not in the playoff picture. Steelers always have a winning record. So what I'm wondering is, if we don't want to go Super Bowl, but the Steelers are already in the playoffs, what's the, what's the delta by what adding they Russ? They in the playoffs. They got beat by the Bills. I don't think with Russell Wilson, they would have beat the Bills. Maybe, but they were certainly not beating the Bills. We didn't even need to talk about that game. In fact, I don't even think we previewed it. I don't even think we spent any time on it. We just assumed that the Bills were going to beat the Steelers, which was a healthy and reasonable assumption, because unless Josh Allen completely freaked out, like he did against the the Jets at the beginning of the season last year, the Steelers truly did not have a chance to win that game, especially the way that the Bills were playing leading into the playoffs. They were in playoff mode for many weeks leading into that. The difference between what they are now and what they were last year is now they have a real chance to compete in the postseason because they have a quarterback, which, by the way, we're talking about these other teams and the moves that they've made. Does it make them contenders? A lot has happened with Russ. A lot has happened. And recency matters. But if we're going to talk about it, <laughs> we got to talk about everybody else in the same vein. Russ is a Super Bowl winning quarterback yes. who has played in not one but two of them things. OK, right? Yes. He has been the franchise quarterback, the face of an organization. He has, le- he has, he has been the leader of that team, not the reason why, but the leader of the team. He has, he has played at the highest level for, for many, many years. We're talking about moves that other teams are making as if we're, those quarterbacks are making them serious who have done nothing close to what Russell Wilson has done in the postseason. I know recency matters. I'm not disregarding that. But we are not applying the same level of recency to the other moves that are being made around the NFL today. It's a little unserious. I guess what I'm saying, Dave, is the Steelers were already serious. I don't think Russ makes them The Steelers any... are nothing but serious. That's so, the only thing they so do. That's what though. To the, to the National Football League, I think a team that wins 10 games and 10 games and 12 games and 12 games and yeah. 9 games and 9 games and 12 games, I think, I think they're serious. I, yeah, so, I'm not, so, I don't laugh at the Steelers. So really quick before, before Dave goes. We were serious about Kenny Pickett taking him to the Super Bowl? No. So, no. That's, so no. that's what I'm but, saying. So the Steelers might, in, in that building, but, might be serious. But, but ain't my, nobody serious about that. But is anybody that. serious about Russ taking... I haven't heard anybody being serious about Russ taking them to the Super Bowl today. I am. I believe they have a really good shot to get in that game with Russell Wilson. Remember, they played you, Buffalo in really? Buffalo you with really? Mason Rudolph and no T.J. Watt. Yeah. 
but man, I, look, there, he been to that game thing, with Ben Roethlisberger. My thing with the Steelers, and honestly, it's funny how the organization changes my opinion on this. Because like 15 minutes ago, I'm hyped for Atlanta. They're back in the mix. Yeah, that's Atlanta. Their biggest moment ever <laughs> is a collapse in the Super Bowl. That's what they're known for. Meanwhile, the Steelers, I'm like, really? Six six trophies? The Steel Curtain? All that stuff that y'all have done? And this is what I'm supposed to get excited about? I do think the Steelers will be a better team with Russell Wilson. I looked this up. They lost three games where they allowed 21 or fewer points last year. <laughs> That's how bad it was. So, yeah, like, and they won 10 games, by the way. Exactly. So, so, so you might win 13 okay. and where the playoff game at? You win maybe not in, maybe not <laughs> at not home. Not, yeah. You play in the, the answer. first round, not at home. 13. You, Bengals. You play with the reigning Ravens. MVP and the Bengals, who are the only team, as Joy said, who have ever threatened the Chiefs in your division. 12, 13 wins is not a guarantee of a home playoff game. So, that's my point. Is Way better than 10. You could win 11, 12 games, be the five seed, and go up against C.J. Stroud, who you probably lose to because this is a quarterback league, and that is my... There's don't you feel better? Don't you feel better playing against C.J. Stroud with Russell Wilson yes. back there over Kenny that's, Pickett? That's, that's, that's all I'm saying. I feel better. I'm always talking about. You feel if, better? I'm, if I am a Steelers fan, and assuming you are at least 20-something years old, you know how it feels to get to the mountaintop, because, what, it was 08? It wasn't that yeah. long yes. ago. Yeah, yeah. If you know how that feels... And went back. And... You, you cannot look at, the, at this, the, the current construction of the Steelers and be like, we are going to get through C.J. Stroud, yeah. Joe Burrow, Lamar Jackson, Patrick Mahomes. That's where I'm I at. Am you, can't, fan. you can't be excited knowing this. that, oh, Kenny Pickett ain't going to be there. We, we got... I, you ain't I've watched this my whole better. life. I've watched this my whole life, yeah. and I hear you. But I will tell you where I've been beaten down, Okay. Because because it's, it's my favorite thing to brag about the Steelers, right? Yeah. Uh, please, please. They're are excellence you, personified. Yeah, it's, I like, it. I, I, yeah. it's very cute that you guys get to the postseason and you had a winning <laughs> season. Uh, congrats to you. And, and before Tom Brady and Bill Belichick ruined it, I got to say that we have the most right. trophies in the league. That's not, that's not the case anymore. We're tied. But, but still, the point is, I hear you, but there isn't a franchise quarterback. There's not a Pat Mahomes store, okay? Yeah. We, it's, there's not. So what the standard is has to be reasonable. Yes, the expectations for the Steelers are Super Bowl every single year. We know that only one team wins a Super Bowl every single year. And right now we are in the middle of a current dynasty. So to say that it changes nothing, I guess, is my issue. Because the Steelers are what they are. They have the standard that they have. They have the defense they have. They have the coaches they have. They have the skill positions that they have. They have the running game that they have. They have the culture that they have. So they have all these things and we still take them serious. When you add someone who has at least we know had the capability at some point in their career of winning the Super Bowl and then going back to a Super Bowl. It does make them better. And I, and I hear you on the rest of the AFC too because we, we showed all of those quarterbacks in that long list of quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. that, that was not the list of quarterbacks you would have shown in September. That would have been the gauntlet if we mm -hmm. showed who was going in September. Yep, so we know, know a lot happens during you the never season. Know what's so what, what Russ does it, is gives you a chance. And in the marketplace, your other options were what? Pay Kirk Cousins the bag that he's going to demand, honey. Run me my money, honey, that as he got. always does. And he's going to get it. You're going to give it to him. You're going to pay that man whatever money he asks for. I don't know why we do it, but we do it every time. And I would have done the same thing. Where do I sign, Kirk? Because for some <laughs> reason, these checks keep coming. So we're going to pay Kirk Cousins, which is going to hamstring the rest of your roster. You're going to have mm -hmm. to make changes. You go draft another quarterback. We don't know what's going to happen with that. This was a great option. And all I'm saying is... I'm saying there's a chance. I'm, a, I'm glad you brought that up, actually, because there, there is a way that the Steelers could change the way I feel about this, but it goes counter to everything we know about them. Because, I mean, you just mentioned the excellence, the consistency. They're also, they're very set in their ways. Like, honestly, isn't it a little bit surprising they were even willing to do this? A little bit. I, yeah. Slightly. Yeah, a little I think, bit. Uh, just a little bit. Little, it's a little I bit had some surprising. They were going to do so, it. Yeah, 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 here's, yeah. If the Steelers are willing, I looked it up. They've got roughly 25, 27 million dollars in cap space. They're paying their quarterback 1.2 mil. 1. Pennies, million. pennies for a guy that's been to a Pro Bowl. If they're willing to 49er this thing up and just start loading up, who's still available? Who can we get? Who can we add to this Thank defense? You. We just cut Patrick Peterson. We got to go get another cornerback. We could use the third wide receiver. Let's go get that guy. If the Steelers are willing to do that and load up their roster to completely surround Russell Wilson, well, then we can talk. But, but they're the Steelers, they? and I don't legitimately think why they're going to do they? that. First off, Russell it's, Wilson it's, came it's in, in there their and Mike Tomlin say, listen, uh, you ain't even going to go on the books because uh, I'm going to write you my check out of Wells Fargo for one point. <laughs> 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 and bring you on to the... Why wouldn't they do that? 
You got a. Are they oh, are they, they out there today doing it? Not big nine free agents. All the biggest names vendors. are going. The draft, develop, draft, Even develop. if you go in the draft, you ain't got a ways to pick on at uh, in the 20s or whatever on a quarterback, whether a Penix or somebody fall down there, you're going to get somebody good. I agree with and that. And there's still some other players out there in free agency that you could go they get gotta go to get improve this roster. They got to go and get And you got them. the money. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak and go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.